Part 2. Crimson Flower. Great Tree Moon. Field of Revenge. With the capture of Aryan Road complete, the Imperial Army moves to invade the Kingdom Capital. They plot to send troops toward now vulnerable House Fraldarius territory and plan to attack Ferdiad from two sides. So, Aryan Road has fallen. Roderick, Felix, Ingrid. I swear that I will not allow your deaths to be in vain. The scouts have just now returned. Seems the Imperial Army is marching toward the Kingdom capital. Are you certain about this, Dimitri? As King, do you think it wise to intercept them yourself? No need to worry yourself. Even if I am defeated, the Blathed Bloodline will live on. And the Kingdom's territory has never been rich in resources. If the castle falls under siege, our loss is inevitable. I will deploy my army onto the plains and wait for the enemy. Please, position your forces so that they can flank the Imperial Army. Yes. Given the present situation, making the plains our battlefield is a logical choice. I have no objection. However... There is only one person I am after. I have no interest in any other prey. I will take you at your word. Erasing the other child's existence is my task, and mine alone. I will get you back, Mother. I promise. What do you think, Lady Edelgard? Will they shut themselves inside of Ferdiad? They will try to intercept us. Of course, Ferdiad will not fall so easily. Even so, if we were to cut off their supply line with a large army, it would eventually fall. It makes much more sense for them to wager everything on a victory at the Tail Team Plains. The Tail Team Plains? The same plains where the so-called Divine Saros defeated Nemesis, the King of Liberation, in a comeback victory over a thousand years ago. And about 400 years ago, the hero Lug created the kingdom by defeating the Emperor of the Time on those very plains. Their goal must be to recreate that scene. Yes, I suppose so. Although the Imperial Army is powerful, if we were to compare the strength of our best to the best of the Knights of Seros, we would likely come up short. The Kingdom's army and House Blathed are also renowned for their unmatched persistence. On the battlefield, it can be assumed that their one and only goal will be to strike you down. Are you telling me to stay off the battlefield? Naturally. You are their aim, Your Majesty. You must know it only makes sense to keep you out of their reach. And you must know that, at a time like this, I absolutely cannot withdraw. <sighs> of course I know that. That is why I will refrain from asking you again to stay away from the battlefield. The Immaculate One, descendants of the Ten Elites, and other extremely fearsome foes await us. But with the help of our friends, we have a chance of defeating them. We are the only ones who can. Within our group, I am included among those with the kind of strength we need to win. I absolutely will not remove myself from the front lines. Professor, you have that same strength as well, whether or not you realize it yet. I will protect you. Please, don't get yourself killed trying to protect me. Until the very end, we'll survive this trial together. Understood? Some Violet solo leveling What's now. My strategy? Because we need to get the A rank with Yuritsa in order to unlock the option for an S rank before the end of this month. Since after this month, we are immediately thrown into Chapter 18's showdown, which is the final battle. No. So if we don't have that A rank with Yuritsa, we cannot S support him. It's vital. I 
奥。What's my strategy? I'll get. What's my strategy? Starting to feel like a. I can. Oh, don't. You have. Hmm. Yes. I'm getting it. You pressed ya. There we go. We got it. The way your sword glides through the air. I am in awe. You, paired with that sword. It may bring about my end. I would never kill an ally. So weak. That weakness will be your end. Long ago, when the Death Knight saw you in the Holy Mausoleum, I came to an understanding that it is you, and you alone, who are capable of slaying me. Only you with your sword can do it. Upon reflection, I can see that our encounter was fated to happen. Ever since then, I've been thinking that there are others stronger than me. Perhaps that is so. At that moment, he fell under your spell. You who wields the sword of the Creator. And now, as I fight alongside you, I too fall victim to your spell. That I am unable to fight you is truly regrettable. Should we fight here and now? Yes, I suppose that is true. This futile, pointless war. Let us end it quickly then. Uniting Fodlin 
and overthrowing the church are mere trivialities to me. All I truly need is you. You and nothing else. It, it feels like you like me. Perhaps that is true, viewed in a certain light. And please, don't get yourself killed by some foolish brigands. You must live, that we might fight one another to the death. I must know which one of us will emerge victorious. For now, I will have to use my imagination and savor the potential outcomes of that future. I can see it now. You swiftly dodging my blade, and then at last, your sword piercing my flesh. I stumble to the ground, gasping for air, breathing my last. Or perhaps, perhaps my blade will pierce you first. Do you really want to keep going with this? No. That is enough. I must refrain from such fantasies. They make my urge to slay you all the stronger. It is enough to stand by your side while I await that day of true pleasure. I look forward to fighting you. Indeed. You and I are fated to be intertwined. I will follow you to the very gates of hell. If you insist, thank you. Soothing. Take it. Mm -hmm. I'll take it. Yes. Studying my preferences. Clever. Thank you. This was more enjoyable than I thought. should prove useful. Can I use this off the battlefield? I think I'm improving. I think I got it. Guess all that time wasn't wasted. Age is but a number. I always was a quick study. You reach the Mercedes because I need them to get support points because I need their conversation. I need their last conversation because it gives some great depth on both characters. And their god awful father for Yuritsa, stepfather for Mercy.
Edelgard and Constance, leveling. Which helps us get Edelgard's Flickering Flower combat art from mastering the Emperor class. My efforts are paying off. result Caspar also gets wrapped Thank you. 
Professor. I've... <laughs> I'm a quick study. Can't wait to get Caspar is a war master, Yuri is a trickster. You trust too much, allowing someone who has turned their blade on you to come near. Because there are two sides to you, you fear that I endanger myself? I am nothing more than a merciless killer. A demon whose only pleasure is found within death's shadow. Such a creature should not be allowed near you, dear sister. Just what are you implying, Emil? I have come to bid you farewell. Today, I will leave the monastery for good. If I stay, it is only a matter of time before I hurt you. Just like I did those in House Bartels. You can't leave. But, if it must be so, then answer me this before you depart. Why did you kill your father? <sighs> On the day I took his life, father had just discovered that you and mother were hiding at a church in the kingdom. He was considering bringing both of you back home. But by then, Mother was past the age to bear children. And so, he proclaimed that he would take the only other female of the Lamine bloodline. That he would take you as his wife. What happened after that? I remember nothing of it. How I killed him. Or what his final words were. You... You did it for me. To protect me. Regardless of reasons, a demon is a demon. I have said enough. Hold on! That isn't fair! Not fair? No! You can't just tell me all of that and then vanish forever. Please stay. At least until this horrible war meets its end. I want you around just a while longer. But... All that I do results in harm to others. You saw it yourself. The demon that lives within bears his fangs indiscriminately. You... Know all of this. And still you wish for me to remain? Even if I am hurt... Or worse yet, killed. If it is by your hand, then I will find peace. I am, and will always be, your big sister, Emil. Mercedes, I... I love you, Emil. That never changes. Understand? I understand. Then... I will remain here a while longer. Until we see this war through, I will remain by your side. Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Someone I love. It was easy. It was always going to be Yuritsa. Combat at Tail Team Plains. The Black Eagle Strike Force, in its continued pursuit of Fodland's unification, marches on Ferdiad. Kingdom and Church forces prepare to meet you at Tail Team Plains, a place laden with history.
With Aryan Road behind them, the Black Eagle Strike Force marches north to Ferdia. They plan for the Imperial Army, stationed in former Alliance territory, to take over Fraldarius land, so they are able to attack Ferdiad from two directions. King Dimitri anticipates the Imperial Army's strategy, leading the Kingdom Army and Rhea's Knights of Seros out of Ferdiad, and prepares to intercept the Imperial Army at the Teltine Plains. Mother. Oddly, the rain has come to fall yet again. At this place, once again, I will fight to take you back. The one who keeps me from seeing you again. I will be sure to return them to the Earth from whence they came. The foolish descendant of Hresvelk, who bears her fangs at me, will suffer the same fate. Lady Rhea. Call me Seros now. I am no longer the Archbishop, but rather a warrior. Yes, Lady Seros. Because of the rain, we have not yet confirmed the position of our enemy, or of the Kingdom Army. Search the route to Ferdiad. It is unlikely that they have strayed far from it. When you discover the Imperial Army's main force, commence the attack. If the Kingdom's army has already engaged, flank the enemy as planned. As you wish. Wait for me, dear child. I will be paying you a visit soon. When this sword has been plunged into your chest, yes, that is the very moment I long for. I was hoping they would strike the church first. We must have miscalculated the rate of their advance. Reorganize the formation. We have no choice but to buy time until the church arrives. It will be a long battle. Are you afraid to do? No. So long as I am at your side, there is nothing to fear. I can always rely on you. Just watch, my friend. We will prevail. I will not fail to get revenge for all who have fallen. I would follow you anywhere, Your Majesty. Good luck out there. You as well, Dudu. You as well. Your Majesty. For you, I will. A flag of blue is flapping in the rain. It must be the Kingdom Army. Yes. It seems that King Dimitri is leading the troops himself. However, the Knights of Saros have yet to be seen. Perhaps they have split up. I can't imagine that Dimitri would leave the capital to the church and face us with the Kingdom Army alone. He must be planning to use the church to gain the upper hand in battle. With the rain, that must be difficult to coordinate. Still, the Knights of Saros must be around here somewhere. And we should be on alert for attacks from the side and rear as well. Inform the entire army. Yes, sir. Now that I think about it, the Kingdom's army is quite different than it once was. They have taken a position of interception. In the past, the King would have introduced himself before beginning a fair fight. A fair fight. The words alone remind me of how he once was. Don't you agree, Professor? Dimitri? Yes. He often spoke of such things back at the monastery. Well, at the present, the words fair fight do not seem to suit Dimitri anymore. He dislikes making victims of his friends. But other than that, he will do most anything these days. If he stops at nothing to continue the onslaught, I cannot imagine what will become of the battlefield. True. As soon as we can take our battle formation, we must advance. Dimitri, that past you cling to, I will soon free you from it. Ah, here you are, Edelgard. At your eternal resting place. You have trampled, and stolen, and blinded yourself to the truth. Today, I will have vengeance for all you have done. With this battle, the main force of the kingdom will be annihilated. Leave no enemy general alive, least of all King Dimitri. We are uncertain of the enemy's plans, so let us advance our troops with caution. 
The Knights of Seraphs have yet to show themselves. They will join the battle at some point. Be ready. Let me make this perfectly clear. There are two different endings to this chapter. One is from killing Dudu before, spoiler, he can transform. If you manage to do that, you will unlock the secret ending. The other is from allowing Dudu to transform and then defeating Dimitri and Rhea. Seros. Since we can call her Seros now, since, hey, we got There's the revelation no that me. Rhea is Seros in this timeline. Just like we got the revelation that Rhea is Cero Seros in the Golden Deer timeline. At the very, 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 very end of the game. Let's make this quick. I do not want a single one of these enemy bitches transforming. Because they will. If you give them the chance, do not do give them the chance. Apologies. What's my strategy? going to plan. For the Empire. I do not tolerate obstacles. I'll cut a bloody path. Me in there. Ready for anything. I'm in. Understood. Don't let this chance for vengeance go to waste. Glory to the flag of the knights! Good fortune to his majesty! Fortune to Vargas! Sylvain! I don't want to kill Sylvain. What the? That kingdom soldier just changed into a demonic beast. Did Tullus? No. This is something simpler. This is the work of a crest stone. But why? I gave them crest stones from the castle vaults. The fool! Why did you do that? If we lose here, the kingdom falls. It's our only hope. You call this hope? Well, we must now claim victory so their deaths were not in vain. Yes, your majesty. I am with you. OTA reinforcements have arrived. We shall crush the Empire weaklings. Reinforcements. We're in danger. We must defeat the enemy's generals before we're overwhelmed. Okay, and then this lady would have been Mercedes if we hadn't recruited her. Mercedes. Your death is not in vain.
What's my strategy? I'll cut a bloody path. I'll do my best. Let's make this quick. I'm... There's no stopping me. Ready for anything. All is for victory! If I live, I fight. Put me in there. I'm in. That'll do. For now. Well, I certainly can't complain. Understood. Another victory. I will. No time for action. So, what are you waiting for? Let's finish this today. I need you to move! This is as far as I go. Why must it end here? Sylvain, can you not kill my good boy? Hope you're ready! Attack at your own risk! This chapter, single-handedly, I remember, had me stuck for a week the first time that I played it. Understood. It was so hard. You ha like, I feel like you have to play hyper-aggressively on this one. There is no way around it. Ready for anything. I'm in. Better accept it. Really wanted to die, huh? Well, I'll follow your example. What's my strategy? This could turn the tides. I for the empire. 
for the fate of Bodu. I'm impressed. Slow down. You will never understand the burden His Majesty carries on his shoulders. And Edelgard gets the crit on to do. Your Majesty, you must survive. To do. You fought well, my friend. There's no stopping me. So what are you waiting for? Let's finish this today. I will not hold back! All is for victory! I was such a fool. So... This is how it ends. Forgive me, your majesty. I'm going on ahead. Thank you, Sylvain. Until we meet again on the other side.
will not die yet. My fault for being weak. Let's do this right. Owen. Ready for anything. So what do you So forgive me? Thank you. Put me in there. I'm in. Battle. Understood. Give the goddess my regards, yeah. Whatever. Understood. What's my strategy? Here is something to believe in! Oh! All is going to plan. You're a shining example to all. For the Empire. Your death is not in vain. I'll cut a bloody path. But it's something. Let's make this quick. I've got no time for mercy. There's no stopping me. Ready for anything. Put 
me in there. So Rhea brings her reinforcements. How could I be late when I finally have the opportunity to destroy the Fallen One? This rain. It is the lamentation of my mother. Observe. I shall not fail in restoring balance. This is our chance. This could turn the tides. Must you continue to conquer? Continue to kill? Must you continue to reconquer? Continue to kill in retaliation? I will not stop. There is nothing I would not sacrifice to cut a path to Fodlin's new dawn. Enough of this madness! This future of yours is built on a foundation of corpses and tears! I love that exchange of dialogue. No, not yet. I can't die just yet. No, it can't be. There is no retreat for the Knights of Seros. Fight until none are left standing. Slaughter them all and send them straight to hell. Dimitri, I'm so sorry. Sixty-seven to crit. You are all damned, with no hope of salvation. For the sin of insurgency, you shall be consigned to hell! Not one step back from me! And that was the first time that I heard this crit quote, and I was like, What? Not one step back from me. I didn't even know that that was a crit line for Ferdinand. I've lost 
to that thief? Unacceptable! Watch out, Lady Rhea! Please retreat! Ugh. There we go. Immediately win. Edelgard for MVP. Your Majesty. Your Majesty! <laughs> Stop calling me that. Oh, thank the... No! To do. It seems I will die before I can get revenge for everyone. <laughs> My family. My friends, my home, everything that truly mattered to me. I couldn't. You're wrong. Because of you, I was able to live on until today. You saved me. These past nine years, I am proud to have been at your side. It was a joy I never could have hoped for. Despite all, I count myself a lucky man. Is that so? <laughs> I see. I am glad. You must be weary, Your Majesty. Please, rest in peace. Everyone withdraw immediately. Fall back, Jafertiad. The Goddess is watching over us. If we hold strong, we will surely be saved. Understood. Retreat! Why do you insist on being such a loathsome obstacle? You stole my mother's heart and wield the sword of the Creator, just like that savage King Nemesis. I swear, with these very hands, I will take her back. Until then, wait for me, dear mother. Rhea. She is our enemy, but I must admit that she plays her cards magnificently. You mean using the goddess's name in order to boost morale? That's true, but she also shows great skill in devising her tactics. Using the bewildered Kingdom army as a shield while she and the knights retreated. If they ran all the way back to Ferdiad, it will be very difficult to pursue them. Next time, we will end this. Yes, together we'll end this once and for all. For all the lives lost in battle, by our allies and foes alike. And for Dimitri as well. For Dimitri? Yes, the thirst for revenge that imprisoned him was the result of my uncle's strategy. He believed that I was the cause of everything, and he lost sight of his path as king. There was nothing I could do to save him. And so, the very least I could do was... Are you crying? No. The Edelgard who shed tears died many years ago. Everything that's happened, it's all just part of the ebb and flow of history. The tragedy of Dusker, our days at the Academy, father's death, and the five years you were gone. After all of that, at long last, we're here, at this point in time. I hope you'll stay by my side until the very end. It's time for humanity to take this world back. And on that incredibly somber note, that's where we're leaving it this time, before we gear up for the finale next time. See you later. Goodbye.